So, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you in the name of Sun Farming in Dalensis and in the name of my crew. We've came a long way in terms of the university and this today is for us a very, very proud moment. We see what we're going to present to you here today also as just the beginning of something much bigger than what we've achieved up to now. Sun farming is a combination between solar and food in one place. To optimize a part shadow for plants that they don't dry out, to save a lot of water, to build a microclimate under panels and to use the advantages of both. The university are involved in this project because we strive to use engineered solutions to benefit the community. On the ground here we have uh, cabbage and spinach and many, many other plants and we try to make both business happen. So this business is more for employing people, to feed people, to give them a job, even in the agriculture. That is the business is uh, paying the bill for the whole investment. This project also has commercial potential. The pot commercial potential is that we can produce electricity and sell it back into the grid and also produce agricultural products within the greenhouse. Now this makes the project much more sustainable than either having a project that you sell either electricity or only agricultural products, having the combination of the two products in one. And that is, I think, for Africa the main thing, that we give the people jobs, save water, and give them a hope and income out of energy. That is a good combination and that is uh, that what the sun farming is. Actually, this is not only a dream come true, but it's really what the university wants. Where we get together three major components. On the one hand, good, solid academic research. On the other hand, industry. And in the third place, the needs of our country. What more can a university want than that? I thought this was a good opportunity for us to be able to tap from the same in Zambia as well. Right now, when we look at the opportunity for solar energy, food and uh, energy, there's a very good opportunity in Zambia and I thought this would be a good chance for me to come and pick up on some knowledge here and take it back home. What brought me here is there has been a lot of talking in South Africa that ESCOM is going to have problems of electricity. The water is busy diminishing in South Africa. Now, these kind of projects of energy saving, they are a saving, not us, but for the nations to come and generations to come. We taking the alternative of energy saving, like what we have seen sun farming doing today. We believe that sun farming is a very interesting concept of combining energy generation and food generation, and in addition, creating jobs for local communities. It changed my life with my families. We work once a day at least. And then again they taught us about life planning, how to take our body responsibility of our body and our home at, at home. The cocoa fiber is very much important because we are using it for planting as our soil. So we were not knowing that cocoa fiber can be soil. It utilizes the land efficiently in terms of the power generation, in terms of the food production, and then also when you have the, the fish, then the fish also brings in the fertilizer for use for, for food. Yeah, I think distance learning um, is a very important issue for specifically the African continent, um, South Africa as well as other regions, uh, in view of the vast distances which need to be bridged and the cost involved in education. Distant learning, I think, can be a bridge to poorer communities and a bridge to people who can't afford um, living on a campus. To propagate vegetables is first of all by A, by C, and the choice is also available for all kinds of vegetables and reliability. So distant learning could be um, a massive boost to educate the nation. We uh, see what we've achieved over here as just the beginning of a number of similar facilities to be established across the region and across Africa. And we are inviting other universities, other institutions to become involved 
in partnering with us so that we can take this concept that we've established here and replicate on a national scale and throughout Africa.